Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to move your data from one MySQL server to another by using Schema Transfer Wizard. So think about a scenario where you have uh, this uh, MySQL server, that's uh, old server or new server, and you would like to just move uh, the database uh, uh, or make a copy of that database uh, to another server. This is going to be used for mostly quick uh, uh, development pur purpose and all that. Uh, in the previous version, uh, what we did in previous video, actually, we, what we did, uh, we went to the databases and did the migration wizard. With the migration wizard, what happened? You get a lot of uh, options, uh, and that's uh, probably will be, you will be using for production or migration. But schema transfer wizard, that means just you're gonna grab that uh, database and put it to another server and uh, use for testing or something. You are not considering whole lot, and you you are not using really selection of options. Uh, but uh, migration wizard give you a lot more detail so watch that video and uh, if you want to go for a migration but this is uh, something you want to copy from one server to another server so schema transfer uh, wizard will uh, be quick and easy okay here I have uh, one of the MySQL server that I have installed on the Linux machine I'm gonna go to the home and connect to another MySQL server that I have installed on the Windows you see that uh, I have only three databases here but I would like to move uh, uh, or copy tbit that's on uh, on one of the mysql server that's on linux so i'm going to go ahead and copy this one to the windows uh, mysql server that has no tbit database okay let's go to the other source and here we go to the database and go to the uh, schema transfer wizard okay it is telling you the mysql schema transfer wizard helps you to move your data from one older mysql server to the latest the mysql the ga um, general availability version it is uh, meant for developer machines to get you working with the latest mysql server utility server quickly the data is transferred on the fly and uh, and it is not based on the uh, consistent uh, snapshot um, so for the actual production uh, there are a lot more to consider but here we are just uh, taking the database uh, whatever if the new uh, inserts are happening at the same time you there would be might be ignored and all that so it is just for the quick dirty way to get your data to the development machine or QA so you can test uh, different scenarios okay uh, start the wizard and uh, first of all, you will be picking uh, the source connection. Uh, I already have uh, made those uh, connections in the MySQL workbench, so I can select uh, one of them. Uh, in my case, uh, my source is going to be uh, my Linux box. Uh, that's where I have installed uh, my uh, SQL server. Okay, so we selected that one, and target uh, is going to be our local host. Uh, um, the, the instance name is uh, MySQL AD. Okay, next, uh, hit uh, next year. You're gonna select a database from the source. I'm selecting TBIT, and uh, it's not uh, asking us a lot of information. It's saying, okay, migrate ISM, uh, my ISM tables to the InnoDB. Yes, uh, it will do that if you have that, and uh, start copying them. Didn't ask you which table you want, which store procedure you don't want, which function you want, and all those. No, it just uh, ask you database name, and uh, okay, it's gonna go ahead and copy the whole database to the new server preparing the script revising it creating the tables and then at the end you have summary of those tables like how many rows are copied from a source to destination one of the things you want to consider if you have a big database uh, that's a production database and uh, you are running uh, this uh, my uh, schema transfer wizard in the middle of the day and uh, do you have 50 gb or 100 gb uh, database that you are copying uh, from source to destination that can be problem so i will suggest to run these uh, uh, tasks in some time when you have very minimum client activity or uh, application is uh, usage is very low on the, uh, using the databases okay great so hit next and we are all done here give you summary finish now we go to the mysql ad that's our windows uh, uh, mysql and uh, refresh and you can see the tbit databases are there uh, go to tables right click see the data so we can see that the, it transferred the data as well so if you want to copy one database from uh, or multiple databases from one server to another server this uh, schema transfer wizard is pretty clean quick way to do it again uh, make sure it's not your production and you are not copying all those databases from production in the middle of the day to some qa or a uat and uh, that take a whole lot of time and uh, the people on the application start crying thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video